hi guys welcome back to app development tutorial so basically we would be creating an app uh, starting now and uh, this would be a playlist instead of a long video because i got uh, lots of love from you on my previous video plus i do had uh, lots of request that uh, it should have been divided into playlist so now i am working on creating a playlist so yeah so what's the goal of the app so let's decide the goal of the app our goal uh, the, the goal of the app is to create a fully functional app which interacts with the backend and saves the data into customers meta field so basically what our app would be doing is uh, we would be placing a, a certain thing in our product page or any other page so that well, once a customer is logged in a person who is logged in they can save a data into their meta field so it's just like uh, uh, I would say uh, it's just like uh, a reviews app or pro probably we can save some certain reviews from certain customers so uh, yeah that's that's what it does but basically we, we are going to decide what it's going to do in the end but yeah that's that's what our focus is so as to interact with the shopify backend and thus also sh showing the data in the front end uh as usual we are going uh, we are going to go through the documentation and installation of the app once again uh, how does the app look in the customer uh, or, or the partner partner dashboard the react remix walkthrough again shopify polaris and shopify app bridge then shopify uh, graphql api walkthrough and uh, prisma walkthrough and uh, you know understanding by uh, how to create theme app extension in Shopify and then finally creating a real app so that's all what we are going to do so let's get started without wasting any time so let's do uh, go to the documentation we have this documentation over here uh, for for now we can just click on this start building app this link I would be sharing it in the bottom of the description so you can check that link okay so now let's start by creating an app so um, what i did is i created an empty folder and in an empty folder uh, i would uh, run these commands so let's go and uh, walk through this this thing so we have this shopify app in it we are going to use this and one more thing we are going to use shopify managed managed uh pricing uh, plans so uh, previously uh, i didn't use any other plan or did not show you how to uh, manage those plans or uh, the billing api so we are not going to use the billing api over here we are going to use the managed pricing api over here so let's uh with that in focus let's start so uh we open up a terminal and we create start this app in it so we would be building a remix app so yeah we would be using javascript yes and uh, i'm going to go with the development store yes this is a new app uh let's name this app as customer uh, interacting or maybe it's just youtube app tutorial anything we we, we can name it anything but uh for now instead of youtube app uh, probably we are going to launch this app also in the end so uh we are going to make it uh name it in in such a way that uh, we can uh, finally put it somewhere in the so let's customer uh 
customer uh, customer reviews yeah That's okay so it's already done we need to do this this step now follow this step and let's see we did follow this step hmm. okay now we are on to this um, new directory which is this one uh, now we can use well it is to ensure that this particular directory opens so this step is completely optional you can do this uh, or probably continue without doing this also so this is completely optional so what this code dot does is basically it opens the current directory uh, the a, a new window of uh, visual studio code which uh, would be which which would contain all the directories uh, all, all, all the, the folder which we have opened all right so now if i click on code dot or enter it opens this this directory and uh, we can continue with this all right so that's a completely optional step now we can uh, simply run npm run dev or shopify run dev it's um, it's up to us we can use any of these all right so uh, let's go to the documentation once again uh, let's see what they have said so we can use shopify app dev we can use shopify app dev uh probably uh, no so let's see shopify app dev also does the same work as npm run dev so let's see yeah yeah yes okay so now uh, we have started this process and we can keep keep a track of what we would be doing in in this particular uh, folder so yeah let's see what we have in here all right so i i'm just going to open this uh, this particular a store in which i've installed my app so let's see if uh, okay we will have to follow this first of all in order to install the app so if i follow this particular link it will take me to the installation steps so i can install the app by clicking on this install button and i can pin this over here so that uh it's in our uh in our view even uh, if 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 we uh switch, switch off the system or probably if we move on to any other tab or refresh the page so that keeps this in 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 our view so now with that done we have our app already set up it's optimizing things so let's wait for it and uh, yeah let's refresh this <coughs> and yeah we have this uh, new app backend whatever we have uh, in in our app so we have this whole interface we have uh, some 
additional page which we, we are going to work on so what we are going to work is uh, we are going to ensure that if a person is logged in if a person is logged in we are able to create some meta field for that particular customer and put data of uh, some meta field uh, in, in, in like meta field data into that customer so uh, it's gonna be uh, like we are going to pass a data uh, from our uh, customer account to 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 the actual server and for that we are going to use app proxies so that would be covered in uh, next tutorials this was a whole setup video in which we are going we, we were going to set up this whole app and uh, you know after that we we would be start we, we we would start working on the actual app but yeah uh, that was it for this particular video i'll see you in the next video thank you